all for that Canon took a rather large axe to their Canon 1000D and killed off the wee ickle baby camera of their DSLR range. But then they surprised us recently with the announcement of the 600D and this, the 1100D. But like a kid that's had too much turkey twizzlers and fizzy pop, it's gone a bit fat and red. Ugh. Hey, you're that, you're that, you're that dude from YouTube. Oh, you too. Hey. Mijonju. Oh, okay. What a surprise. <laughs> yeah. So how are you doing? What are you doing in Hong Kong? Uh, just looking around for, um, for Kai. And, uh, you found me? That's coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Hong Kong is quite a big place and there's 7 million people, but this is but it's such a dot, coincidence. But it's just a dot on the map. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you like? Do you like Hong Kong? It's uh, Hong Kong is really green. Yeah, look at that. Green. It's all natural. See ya. Yeah, see ya. There's bound to be people taking photos up here. Oh yes. The thing is, should Canon just have killed this camera off? Is there any point? to the 1100D. Well, for photography, what you're getting, specs-wise, is quite reasonable. Well, there's some mild updates. It's got a 12 megapixel sensor now. The image quality is really quite decent. 12 megapixels is more than enough. What's more, it's been upgraded from a 7-point AF system to a 9-point, just like the 600D. Oh god, guys died. And it's got the same metering system as the Canon 7D, which is quite nice. It's a 63 area IFCL colour sensitive metering system. Good to see Canon haven't skimped on that. It's got a 2.7 inch screen, not particularly big bigger than before and I've updated it with buttons Woo! of course being an entry-level DSLR they've made it a bit easier for the beginner to use they've also got a creative point-and-shoot mode which basically means that it will change really technical terminology like shallow depth of field into more fathomable ones like blurred background my feet out there. Who needs feet anyway? I've got hands I can crawl around on the floor. Hand solo. I mean the simple fact is it takes pictures. It does what it's supposed to do. You can have loads of fun on this camera, especially when you get to shoot cats in the face. Oh, he's climbing on top of me. I hope it hasn't got fleas. Ta da! It's a circus trick. Alright, he had enough yet. It's uh, just cleaning itself on my jeans. Alright, go away then. Oh, that, that guy. Oh, it's the Pocket Master. It is nice. Oh, Ronaldo, he's uh, put on a bit of weight. He already was a bit of a, a fatty anyway, so. 
The thing is, it feels like I haven't got anything mean to say about this camera because it doesn't really try to be something that it's not. It's an entry level camera. It's not supposed to sing and dance. Not that the 1DS Mark IV does that. I kind of feel bad criticising. It's like going up to a kid and saying, yeah, you're a loser. So we might as well just end it like that. I must be having a fever. Of course I can criticise the camera. What am I saying? For a start, it's red. It's disgusting. Look at that. It looks like I painted that. In fact, I could do a better job. And that looks like a bottle cap. Come on, Canon. What are you doing? Okay, the fact is, it's a cheap camera, so it's going to be a bit cheap and plasticky. But this is particularly bad. Of course, it's only natural that people want to upgrade in the future. But the thing is, when you have this camera, that progression will come a lot quicker. Because you don't want to keep this, do you? Of course, when you invest into a Canon DSLR system, you're going to want to buy L lenses at some point in your life. It's the way forward. So when you put on this, the balance is just so ridiculous. Look at that, front heavy. It's like getting a cheap Skoda car from the 70s. And then put some really shiny, lovely alloy wheels on it. What is the point? Look at that, the balance is ridiculous. It's like Pamela Anderson, but in a camera. Why don't you just buy 600D or 60D? Let's put the kit lens back on. There we go. But then there's also the fact that some of the things just aren't that good on this camera. I mean, the flash is barely enough power to blind a rat. And look on the bottom, SD card. What if you put it on a tripod? Oh no, I need to change the SD card. <laughs> and then there is the movie mode. It has got a movie mode, 720p. But even mobile phones can do that these days. And the thing is, you can't play around with settings, so what is the point? There aren't manual controls and only just a 720p option with no external mic option. I mean, this DSLR is meant for beginners, not stupid people. The 1100D or 1100D or whatever you bloody well want to call it is ideal for those who want to figure out whether they like shooting with DSLRs. For still photography, this has what you need to get you started taking photos. Although the video mode is a bit pants, don't expect too much and you'll be content. A camera like this is like having stabilizers on your bike when you're first learning how to ride it. It's there to get you up to speed and feel the enjoyment of cycling how to get feel and balance right. Learning doesn't take long, but once you've got the grasp, you'll do away with the stabilizers and never use them again. Once you've got a taste of something with more control and feel, you're not gonna turn back. Plus the fact that your friends will probably laugh at you. <laughs>